Hello, today's topic is availability of SAP Business Suite applications on SAP HANA appliance. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. What is SAP Business Suite? It's a group of applications, enterprise level applications from SAP AG company. I have other videos for the details. For now, just understand that it consists of various applications including enterprise resource planning, customer relationship management, supplier relationship management, supply chain management, product life cycle management, and supply network collaboration. SAP Business Suite applications run on back-end database just like any other application. So they are hosted on a middle tier database is hosted on, on a back-end database server and you access the application through your browser and applications rely on the database to manage the data and they retrieve the data when necessary and they write the data back to the database when necessary. Now, the database is not something that SAP used to offer as a flagship product. Customers of SAP Business Suite could select the database of their choice and various vendors offered databases like Oracle is the most popular choice for SAP customers. Then we have SQL Server from Microsoft, Sybase from SAP itself. SAP purchased Sybase along the way and DB2 from IBM. So these choices and other choices available as well for SAP customers uh, for the database to be used with the applications. Now what happens is management and owners want to run trend analysis. They want to do number crunching and reporting. For that purpose, they do not want to connect to the OLTP database directly. The OLTP stands for Online Transaction Processing and SAP Business Suite applications are OLTP systems. Lots of transactions are happening, business events are being captured in the application and insert commands are going to the database, updates are going to the database and uh, some select is there too, but lots of activities are happening on the database. So that is an OLTP sy system online transaction processing system. Now, analysis and reporting uh, is usually done on OLAP system, online analytical processing system, and this is tuned very differently. This is tuned for retrieval of data, not for lots of inserts and updates, while OLTP is tuned for fast inserts and updates. Periodically, data is extracted from OLTP systems and OLAP systems are refreshed on which analysis and reporting and number crunching could be performed. So there's a lag between the two systems. Now the game has changed a little bit. SAP has created a special database called SAP HANA database, which is different from other databases in many aspects, which we will talk about in a bit. SAP HANA database has been out there since quite some time. However, SAP Business Suite applications were not available on this database. Quite recently, SAP has announced that now SAP Business Suite applications have been re-engineered and are available on SAP HANA database. Now, this announcement will have an impact on SAP Business Suite applications customers and we will see how customers could benefit from this announcement in a bit. Let's first take a look at the characteristics of SAP HANA database. I have covered that in detail in other videos, but here I'm going to briefly touch upon some important points. First of all, SAP HANA database keeps all the data in the memory. So there is no I.O. input-output that is happening on the spinning hard drives. So that is out of the equation, so that means this database is fast. It's an in-memory database. So this is not the only in-memory database. Keep in mind, this is a class of database. And there are other databases available for in this class, even uh, databases from Oracle, including Oracle times 10. SAP HANA database keeps data by columns. When it stores data, it doesn't store by, by rows. It stores by columns. Now, again, keep in mind, that this is not the only column-based database. There are other databases that are column-based, including SAP's Sybase database, which has two versions, one row-based and one column-based. And usually databases that are geared uh, towards the OLAP systems are column-based. But again, that is not necessary. 
bottom line is that this is a column based database and it results into faster performance because of that especially when we are doing analysis although I'm using the term database SAP HANA database keep in mind that SAP HANA is an appliance it's not a database like a standalone database for example Oracle that you can install on any hardware including your laptop SAP HANA database could only be installed on pre-approved hardware which is specially configured and tuned for SAP HANA database I have covered the list of vendors in a separate video that provide hardware for SAP HANA database so database plus that hardware together is called an appliance so it's more of SAP HANA appliance than the database the idea behind creating HANA database was to result into faster performance and SAP claims it stands times faster than standard databases and customers have reported five times better performance in certain scenarios so it is supposed to be a fast database SAP HANA database is available on both on-premise as well as on cloud versions so bottom line is that SAP HANA database is a faster database and SAP claims it's 10 times faster customers have reported in certain scenarios five times better performance SAP HANA database is available on both versions on premise as well as it's available on cloud so, uh, that way you don't have to install anything on your premises and it's uh, available readily on the cloud so what is the impact of the fact that now SAP business suite applications could be run on SAP HANA appliance HANA is a faster database as well as it could support OLTP and OLAP transactions. Business intelligence could be made readily available to operational users of SAP Business Suite applications. So not only operational users will be able to query transactions in the system, they will also be able to see key performance indicators on the screen. It is very important that intelligence go hand in hand with operational activities. Not to mention that SAP Business Suite customers will experience faster performance and this could make a day and night difference especially for batch processing instead of 10 hours job could be finished maybe in half an hour and a query that used to take maybe 30 seconds before now it could be finished in 5 seconds so faster performance definitely means more productivity since SAP HANA database is available on cloud the maintenance is easier and is more flexible let's see how SAP plays out this variable which will impact greatly how fast customers move to SAP HANA database assumption is that it will result into a faster performance at reduced cost but again just reduced cost doesn't necessarily mean customers will start moving into SAP HANA database it has other variables as well so let's say I am SAP business suite customer and I am running on a database other than HANA and I pay X number of dollars on licensing fees if I have to migrate to SAP HANA database I have to pay Y number of dollars for the migration and this will be a one-time cost that I have to pay and once I am on SAP HANA database I will realize some benefits maybe faster performance maybe reduction of cost at a, I, as I don't have to maintain two systems or maybe some other benefits so whatever value I'm perceiving that would be my perceived benefits and then once I'm on SAP HANA database I will not be paying licensing fees to this old vendor I'll be paying licensing fees to SAP now will I move to SAP HANA database or not this depends on multiple things one what benefits I am perceiving to get out of SAP HANA if the benefits are too high I am maybe willing to pay the migration cost and second how SAP is handling the migration cost is SAP providing incentives to 
do the migration at lower cost and are they providing trained consultants and what is the licensing structure for the HANA database so all this will dictate if move is feasible for me or not so there is no yes and no answer maybe it's a green light for one company and may not be a green light yet for the other company